Hello, now that we covered a lot of sketch tools along with geometric relations and smart dimensions, it's time to take a look into how to define a sketch. Now, to do that, we must at first start a sketch in the front plane, and then I will select the line tool. I will begin my line at the origin and build a simple sketch. And notice, when I close out of the line command, I have two lines appear black and four lines which appear blue. Now, what does that mean? Well, the two black lines are fully defined. They are locked down to the origin, which a coincident relation, so that two black lines are not free to move. However, the blue lines are free to move because they are not fully defined. I'm going to add some dimensions to fully define the sketch. 65, 50. And notice, when I do that, more of the lines slowly turn to black. And if you notice down in the static bar, it says the sketch is still underdefined. We are looking for fully defined down here. So I'm going to add another smart dimension, 100. And then a height of 40. The sketch is completely black and it says it's fully defined. Now, before I close out of the sketch, I'm going to purposely delete the dimension. So it's underdefined and then close out of the sketch. Because I want to show you in the feature manager tree, when the sketch underdefined, you see a dash sign in front of the sketch. However, if I right mouse click on the sketch and select edit sketch and reapply that dimension I have deleted and then close out of the sketch. Because it is fully defined, notice in the feature manager tree, we no longer see that dash. That is because it is fully defined sketch. Now, it's important to know that in SOLIDWORKS, you are not required to fully define the sketches before moving on. You can work with underdefined sketches. In fact, in some designs, it's better if the sketch is underdefined, especially if you still play on the sizes, form, or shape. However, if you are a new user of SOLIDWORKS, I recommend to fully define your sketches before moving on. It's a good practice to lock your sketches down to avoid little surprises later. So, that was all for this video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe to get more. Have a nice day and until the next video.